Well, it's certainly an honor to be recognized as one of um, the distinguished dissertations at Michigan. I work on religion and the state in 20th century America, looking at the American military chaplaincy from World War I through Vietnam. In the middle of World War II, there was a, a Lutheran chaplain serving in the Pacific. He was a regular writer to his wife, so it's nice because you kind of see the development of his thinking over time. The Pacific War was a horrible confrontation with death, and he writes toward the end of war that um, while he had the opportunity to return to his civilian pulpit, which, which he left to serve in the military, he didn't think he could do it anymore because having been in the military, he had been exposed to so many more people that it just felt too narrow and too confined. After the war, he, he did not return to his civilian pulpit and actually became um, a university chaplain because he felt that was sort of the most sort of corresponding to how he now understood his role as a pastor. I know I'm in good company with the other awardees, but also I know there's just a lot of really good work out there. To be recognized for doing that work, um, I think is a testament to what Michigan gives its students in terms of training. I certainly felt supported by Rackham, and that was money that let me do the research I did, so that's certainly very important. We're here to work in a discipline, to pursue a degree, but that happens because of people. It happens because of the faculty you're working with, um, but it also happens because of the people in your cohort or the people in your program, and those are the things that I will carry with me forever.